The 1860s were a time of transition in the literary marketplace. There was a demand for secular, juvenile books, especially for adolescent girls. Little Women was written to fulfill that demand. It is a semi-autobiographical account of Louisa May Alcott's happy childhood growing up in a large family who unfortunately have fallen on hard times. When Alcott began writing the March Family Saga, she was transforming a well-known genre. Prior to her fame, evangelical tales dominated the juvenile marketplace. Alcott secularized young adult literature of her day because she wanted her stories to be a source of enjoyment for her readers. She sacrificed the traditional preaching mission of juvenile writing. For instance, when her boy and girl characters undergo a change of heart, it is always the expressed love of those around them, not God's approval that they win. The doctrines she instills are social instead of religious, such as equal rights for women and men and sympathy for the poor. Louisa May Alcott was born in Germantown, Pennsylvania in 1832. Louisa was required by her parents to begin keeping a diary when she was just seven years old. Louisa liked to write just as her father did. Bronson Alcott was also an educator who had very progressive thoughts about the education of young children. Her diary was not the only reason for Louisa's interest in writing, however. Growing up in Concord, Massachusetts in the mid-1800s meant that Louisa had daily contact with her father's friends such as Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, and Nathaniel Hawthorne. As a young adult, Alcott wrote stories for fiction magazines that were highly popular in the mid-1850s. Later as an adult, she wrote short stories that were compiled into a book called Hospital Sketches. Being an abolitionist, Alcott wanted to help during the Civil War. The only job available for females at the time was nursing, so at the age of 30 she left for Washington. By January of 1862, she was back home and very sick with typhoid pneumonia. Her letters and experiences were chronicled and became famous, and from then on, she was asked to write for specific journals. In September 1867, Thomas Niles of Roberts Publishing in Boston asked her to write a book for girls. Louisa, who had always been a tomboy, much like Joe, declined. After a second request in 1868, she gathered some stories she had written about her family and added more to create the book. It was published in October 1868. Little did she know that her diary seemed to be what made her famous because the everyday happenings of the Alcott family are the basis for little women. The March sisters are the Alcott sisters. Meg, who parallels Anna, Joe, Louisa, Beth, Elizabeth, who also passed away, and Amy, who parallels May, her artist sister. The personalities of the March sisters also reflect those of the Alcotts. Marmy is, of course, Abba Alcott. Even Lori, with whom Joe has a warm friendship, but whose romantic advances she rejects, was partly a parallel to a childhood friend, and partly by a young Polish Ladislaw Wozinski, with whom Alcott had a mild flirtation with during her European trip of 1865. The first part was originally titled Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy, and ended with Meg's marriage. Readers clamored for more, however, and Alcott wrote part two, which is originally titled Good Wives in 1869. This part ends with Joe accepting Professor Bear's marriage proposal. Most of us know, however, that's irony because Alcott never married. Little Women is a window into Victorian life, especially in respect to the lives of women. The protagonist, Joe, is an eternal teenager reading books in a tree or garret. She especially has to struggle with her desire for an independent life as a writer and the accepted role of women during her time. Yet even Joe finds comfort in the closeness and security family life creates for the March girls. The sickness and eventual death of the beloved Beth, the European travels of Amy, and the marriage of Meg Tess but cannot break the close family bond. The domestic sphere that is romanticized in the Victorian period is also idealized in the novel and Little Women is, at heart, a celebration of family. Little Women is Alcott's best remembered work. She intentionally wrote her sequel, Little Men and Joe's Voice, for younger readers. Little Man, published in 1871, was based on her nephews and continued the March family story. She also published 17 other books. Despite her popularity as an author, Alcott's later life was sad. Two sisters and her mother passed away by 1877. 
It is also one of the ironies of literary history that Alcott died within 24 hours of her father in 1888. Her achievements and impact established her as a forerunner of young adult literature. Little Women has proven to be one of the rare popular novels that maintained its popularity. Since its moment of publication, its enduring work has never been out of print. And it also happens to be one of my all-time favorite works. Thanks for listening.